It's a, a election like none of us have ever experienced before. Jocelyn Benson is the Secretary of State of Michigan. She says this year's primary election is unique thanks to COVID-19. She tells us additional staff have been added to make sure all voting precincts stay open in light of coronavirus fears. We have put out the call and have actually recruited 6,000 new election workers this year. It's been great to see so many people step up be trained and deployed throughout election day tomorrow. But more voters are choosing to stay home and vote absentee. According to Benson, just over 2 million absentee ballots have been sent out with 1.3 million already returned. We're encouraging everyone with a ballot who has not yet returned it to visit their local drop box or drop it off in person at their local clerk's office by 8 p.m. on Tuesday to ensure that it counts. Benson says the state is comparing a voter's signature on their absentee ballot to their signature on their voter registration. If the signatures do match, the ballot is counted. If it doesn't match, we encourage the clerks to then contact the voter to give them an opportunity to correct or affirm their identity. Uh, and make sure that ballot is still counted. Benson tells us the number of absentee ballots is about double the amount of any election ever held in Michigan. That's why she says results will come back slower than what we may be used to seeing. We're asking for everyone's patience and knowledge that our clerks are going to be working through the night, as you said to tabulate those ballots sent through the mail and ensure that the results are accurate and efficiently delivered. James Felton, WNEM TV5. Now, if you're planning to vote in person tomorrow, the polls open at 7 a.m. and will remain open through 8 p.m. If you are voting absentee but didn't mail back your ballot, you can drop it off at your local clerk's office or drop box. Now, remember, you cannot split your ticket in a primary election. All votes must be confined to a single party column.